and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a little get ready with me. Tipsy get ready with me at that. I haven't done one of these in so long. I didn't even know the last time I did one of these. Maybe when I was in Leeds. Um, oh no, I remember I did one in lockdown for a Zoom call. But yeah, I guess like we haven't been really getting ready for much stuff recently. So cheers to all my beautiful subscribers. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. Today is actually a Sunday. So very broke. We get all my makeup out on the floor. I got new brushes, galley pops. Look at the brush. This one is so soft. Makes me wonder how I've actually put this on my face for the past time along. But I still use it anyways. And I also got a new beauty blender, but I still haven't got foundation yet. So I'm going to wait until I buy a foundation that I like. And then we'll, we'll use this. What is that stuff? So yeah, I'm getting ready for a roof thing. It's in this place called the Elise. And oh my god, I think I'm going to be literally spending a mortgage in there, which is absolutely fine. Also, so this concealer is Maybelline Eraser. I think I've seen like Delaney Childs use this. I loved Delaney Childs. I don't know if anyone watches her, but she's so aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, I think she uses this as well. And she says she like swears by it. So I think it's a good one to use. <laughs> That's pretty much what I have to say. So yeah, the cheapest bottle of wine is £35. Why is that a thing then? I'm not about that. But I think the garden, like the rooftop garden looks really nice. So it should be fun. So every the half five, it's currently like quarter past three. I'm <laughs> I'm going so early because I just want to chill. I feel like if I'm filming, I get rid of me. I want to be able to chill. I want to relax. I want to just have a chat with you girls and boys. So let us talk about things. If anyone's watching Main Chelsea, Oh my god, the beef. I feel like next week's gonna be even beefy. Well, by the time this goes up, next week's will have been out. <laughs> but Maeva actually cracks me up. She, like, I wouldn't want to ever get on the wrong side of her, so I don't think I'd ever want to be friends with her because I think it would just be too risky. <laughs> like, you could probably do one thing and she'd cancel you and then your whole life would be cancelled pretty much. Sophie is, like, the only one that's been able to stand her in against her. I love Sophie. Sophie is just... Her and Tom Zanetti, I love them, but... Tom, 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 Tom. What's he's on for his face? He looks like a waxwork model. Like, he just has got loads of Botox. I'm just not a fan of it. Also, Rapid Lash. Anyone's using it. I just got it. I got it from Look Fantastic. And you get student discounts. So I think I got it for like, um, I think it was meant to be like 40 quid. And then they had a sale. So it was down to 30. And then I got it for 25, I think. So my mate got it off eBay for like a five. She found this seller. They're not selling it anymore, unfortunately. But she, her lashes look insane. So I definitely try and look on eBay somewhere. And you might be, but I just, I would be too scared that it would have like weird chemicals in it that are gonna mess up your eyes. Because eyes is a big thing. Like imagine going blind. Oh, I've, that would just be, I can't be doing that. I can't be inflicting blindness on myself. So yeah, I don't have any foundation at the moment or ever. <laughs> um, so I've started using BB cream. So it's the Garnier Skin Active BB cream. I think it has SPF in it, but I'm not seeing it say that it does. It's medium. So maybe I could get this in like dark. Oh, it does kind of get the colour that I want. But um, obviously it's not really very much coverage because it's just BB cream. So I kind of just put this on because it's better than nothing, which is what I would do before. I think it just helps my makeup to sit a bit better. And yeah, I just kind of put it over the whole of my face. Honestly, don't ever come to me for makeup advice because I will probably ruin your face. Um, how is everyone feeling with the vibes being open? Like, the fact that I'm even getting ready with you today. That's great. I've had something in my teeth this whole time. Right, we have removed. It was a chia seed. Getting ready. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's just insane. What? How? What? We've come so far, girly box. We were sat inside, just idly watching the world go by, watching everyone in other countries live it up. Well, we were locked inside with nothing to do. And now so much has come so far. So I can't believe so much opened. Like on the 17th of May, I swear the only difference is that you can then go to a restaurant inside. Like that's it. Apart from you can also meet, how many people? You can meet like 30 people outside, I think as well. 
which again like you're technically doing if you're at not really but if you're at a restaurant it's basically saying you can have 30 people in your garden but i don't have 30 people to have in my garden i thought if i was to be in leeds then i would but no one's at home because everyone's at uni so yeah currently there's not too many of us at home that 30 person rule isn't really doing much for me but i cannot wait to be sat inside and not have to worry about being cold because oh my god trying to find an outfit that allows you to look cute but warm is really stressing me out i went out with some of the other placements on wednesday honestly that's like the only thing i haven't had to book in a while our booking got cancelled actually so rogue we were so we were working in the london bridge offices and london bridge had to close down they had to evacuate everyone because they found a suspicious item on one of the tubes but in the end it wasn't suspicious so that's annoying that the bar closed because it was going to be a cute little rooftop but yeah we went to a place called vinegar yard which was cute i've heard like rave reviews about it i'm not gonna lie like the drinks were quite overpriced and there wasn't that much choice and also there's meant to be food available but i think i don't know we had quite a lot to drink by the time that the food was available and like the only thing on the menu i'm just gonna put bronzer all over my face the only thing on the menu that we'd been given this like the code for was crisps but i do think they have like burgers and chips and stuff so that would have been a good idea because one of them went and got a pizza from pizza pilgrims down the road and we were all very jealous when he got it because i should have got on basically and the next day we had a meeting and all of us were so hungover and it was so funny i can't wait until that's actually the london life that we live every day socializing like not just sat in my bed because i have to work from bed because that's the only place i get strong enough wi-fi because i've got like a inbuilt cable next to my bed so that i connect like straight to the wires basically i'm very bored of this room basically i just want to work in the office yeah i got some new opoly trousers for tonight i'm excited to wear them they're a bit long i forgot that i should have got petite oh am i gonna be orange tonight yeah baby <laughs> but yeah i forget that i'm gonna get petite because i'm like five three my whole life i thought i was five four but apparently that's a lie i'm hoping that they'll be fine with heels honestly i got them in a six and an eight and it actually made such a difference them being in the six like they were a lot shorter which you wouldn't think they'd be like that much shorter but it really helped i don't know how their sizing works if i'm honest but yeah let's do my eyebrows i'm really late to the game with like soap brow and refi and all that jazz i still just use a pencil and then fill it in i do have the benefit give me brow which i just kind of brush over at the end but if anything that's more just to like set it rather than like make the hairs go up and it's really old as well so shock so there's not really much gel left in there oh my god i was watching burlesque earlier and honestly i think i must watch it like once a month it is just the best film ever like christina aguilera chris how do you say <laughs> christina aguilera is that right is like the best singer in the whole world honestly she hits those notes and she goes for it and she is stunning like i can't believe how much weight she lost for it like that is dedication to a role and as well i don't know i might be wrong but i don't know if she's done any acting since and she acted like well in it so maybe she just decided it wasn't for her but yeah what a girl and the fact shares in it as well and i forget his name but the one from devil wears prada the gay assistant guy he's like a gay assistant in it as well it's got such a good cast and there's a love story you know like what more could you want i just want to be in burlesque i want to sing it i want to dance it oh i always put it on and then just like do my own dance i just pretend i'm in it you gotta live out your fantasies also this eyebrow is higher than this eyebrow and i just follow the line of my hair but it's really aggravating i did that inverted tiktok thing and it's like just not okay my left side of my face is so ugly compared to my right side i just oh i hate the left side of my face i don't know what to do about it <laughs> like how do i make my face more symmetrical also i feel like you can tell where i've my eyes dribbled in the night which is always what we want to see right what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sort out my eyebrows off camera because they're not even and it's stressing me out <laughs> i'll catch you in a sec we're back mm. cheers i'm gonna mix so many alcohols today some vino now because it was the only thing i had that was quick and i just feel like wine always looks cute in a little get ready with me doesn't it i'm gonna have vodka maybe freeze vodka 
lemonade and orange juice. I do love that drink. And then I've got some little tillies for the drain. But yeah, we're gonna do my lashes. Yeah, I'm trying to just get some of the excess glue off of these. Honestly, I should have got a new pair for this place because it's fancy. But do you think I can be bothered to do that? Absolutely not. These are just so good. Like, I don't even know how many times I've worn these. They're like £7.50. They're the Ilia 109, I think they're called. Because they've got such a thick band, which then acts like eyeliner and looks like eyeliner, so you don't have to do eyeliner, which is great. They literally just last forever, as long as you don't lose them. Yeah, they're like £7.50. I probably wear them at least 10 times, like, before I throw them away which is mental and that's not even me having to throw them away because they're like really old it's just because i'm like i probably should throw these away now because i don't know if that's gammy wearing stuff on your eye multiple times you know what i mean is it like washing your clothes <laughs> also oh my god i just finished the office michael came back i don't know if anyone's watched it sorry if it's a spoiler but it was only for one episode anyways and he came back for one episode and it was really sweet i'm not gonna lie it just did go downhill when he left steve carell was my fave like he's just the funniest guy i just love every film i can't remember what there's there's a spy film with him in that's so funny and i can't remember what it's called like even will ferrell didn't really do that well to be fair will ferrell wasn't that good apart from Step Brothers and elf the rest of his films i'm not sure about but obviously Step Brothers and elf are like two of the best films of all time steve carell just he just takes the biscuit. I think some people don't get it. Some people don't get the humour. And I know that the English one was actually the original. But I don't know. I might try and watch it. I'm a bit officed out, if I'm honest. I think there was like nearly 250 episodes or something around there. So, and I've watched them all <laughs> very recently. So, I'm a bit officed out at the moment. First Dates Hotel just finished. And Celeb Bake Off finished. We're kind of watching Dragon's Den a bit. And they're also savage on there. Do you know Tangle Teaser was on Dragon's Den? <laughs> I'm not good at talking with my lashes on. But yeah, Tangle Teaser went on Dragon's Den. They didn't get the investment, so the dragons missed out. Because now they're like a multi-million company, or I don't even know if they still are, to be honest, but I have two Tangle Teasers. I need to buy a new one, actually. That's only one thing that I do need to buy. But yeah, they missed out on that. And they missed out on Trunkies as well. I don't know if you... If you were young... When you were younger as a kid and you saw the kids wheeling around their suitcases in the airport. I always wanted to be that kid and I never got one. How cool, it was like Heelys. I never had Heelys either. I always wanted to be the kid that had Heelys or that had that suitcase that you sit on and whirl about. So yeah, they missed out on that opportunity as well. Look how much of a difference that's made to my eyes. Like, come on. Honestly, the thought of airports. Girly Pops, oh my God, I think May 17th, there was like someone just sent into the group chat like something on the news about travel looking likely from May 17th. How exciting is that? Boomtown got cancelled. <laughs> Oh, I just went from so happy to so sad. But yeah, Boomtown got cancelled and we had tickets for it. But I think we're just going to roll them over till next year because it's been cancelled obviously for two years in a row now. So like it's going to be impossible to get tickets next year. To be fair, they didn't like sell out on the first day that they came out this year. So if you want to get one next year, basically probably just buy it on the first day that they come out. So sad. I really thought we were going to get to go. But hey ho, I think we've got like two or three other festivals but and they haven't been cancelled so far. If anyone's going, made me lead to us. See you there. Um, and then we've just got a couple other day events But We've got Sunny Federa. Near where we live, he's DJing in a stadium. So that's going to be interesting. And that's before lockdown ends. I think that's bank holiday weekend, so 29th of May. Anyone else have anything booked? I don't know if we've just been completely crazy <laughs> booking all this stuff. But oh my god, I've been trying to book because the next weekend that we're free like the next friday we're free is the 7th of may and i've been trying to book stuff literally just for three of us and everything is already booked up and it's what like the 25th of april Ugh, i can't wait until you don't need to book like you can just be spontaneous when we went out on wednesday it was calm because it's it's a wednesday so we just went after work and it was like half five six so it wasn't busy then if we're low, we have some lashes on. I'll need to like go over these a bit. So basically the glue, yeah, it's like white, the glue. So it kind of dries a bit. As much as it tries to dry clear, it kind of dries a bit white. So what I do is I just get a liquid liner and almost like paint over the bits where it goes a bit white. And yeah, I bronzed all of my face, but now we do it in. So basically I'm contouring now because I don't have contour. I kind of want to get 
cream contour when I get foundation because I feel like when I see people do that that always really makes a big difference oh yeah I haven't been doing eyeshadow recently either or for a while probably for like a year I went through a phase in lockdown where I was like really trying I got I got this what do you even call it palette off of Amazon with like loads of wacky colors in it I'll probably bring them out again for festivals and stuff to be fair so I'll probably do that because honestly girl, it's like, oh, girl summer is fast approaching and I can't wait. These are the sort of nails that I want all summer. I really really like Chintzia's nails with the just over the tip where you'd get like a sort of French manicure. She's got like all different shades of blue and aqua and stuff on one side and then all different shades of like orangey reddy on another or like pinky orangey on the other side and that's what I'm going for next. I don't care if people think I'm copying because I am like I'll put my hands up, I am. Everyone's copying some nail inspo, aren't they? Like, I didn't come up with five different colour pastels by myself, did I? Let's face it, like, that's been done before. To be fair, they're not really pastel, but I kind of like it. I think they've got darker as I ta keep tanning over them. I don't know if anyone else gets that when they fake tan. Like, my toenails, I always have to repaint, even though they're not, like, they don't really come off my toenails, I always have to repaint, like, a layer over the top because it makes them go, like, a darker shade of pink when I tan my feet. I'm guessing it's just because fake tan is, like, a stain, isn't it? So, it, as much as it stains your skin, it can stain anything, so. Stains the nail varnish as well. How cute. Let me just do a bit of lip balm. I haven't even got a lip gloss either. I need to buy a lip gloss that's good. And maybe even a lip liner. I don't even know. I used to have a lip liner, but I lost it. So... Fun story. This is my favourite song. I literally love it so much. Let's carry on. We're nearly done with the makeup and then I'm not sure if I'm going to show you my hair on camera or not because all I'm doing is putting it in half up, half down. Just hairspray it a bit, two front bits out and then I curl it. But I will show you the finished product and then I'll show you what I'm wearing. Where's my little eye pencil? Honestly, that song is the best song ever. Like, if you need to be pumped up in the mood, Bed by Joel Corey. Joel Corey, apparently he used to be on Jolly Shaw, which first of all is jokes. But yeah, I want to see him live so bad because he has so many good songs. Oh my God, this eyeliner is so run out. Maybe I need to find my pencil wall. I don't even want to know how long I've had this, but because it's a pencil and I only use like a minuscule amount every time I do my makeup. I don't even know when I bought it. Years and years and years ago, basically. A little bit of blush, a little bit of blush. Even though I go red enough as it is when I'm on the A little bit of highlight. I still don't know if I even want highlight. My face is quite naturally highlight. Do you see what I mean? Like there. It's quite naturally highlighty anyway. I don't know what that's from. Sweating, grease. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it's from. Just glowing. I still just put it on anyway because it just makes me think I've finished my makeup now. Do you know what I mean? I really like it under my eyebrows. Still unsure if I even like it on my nose, but I do it anyway. We're basically done. Mascara, my bottom lashes. My bottom lashes are bigger than my top lashes. This is why I'm using that rapid lash thing because I'm fed up of it. Okay, I think we have to touch it up close up to the mirror, maybe. But that is my makeup. Done. We will get my hair done and into my outfit and then you can see the finished product. <laughs> Cheers babies. Okay, girly pops, we are ready to rumble. This is finished outfit. So we've got this corset top from iPoly, which is honestly stunning. Um, it looks like that from the back. I love it so much. I got it in a size 8. I probably could have afforded to get it in a size 10 because she's spilling a little bit but i honestly just didn't want to send it back because it wouldn't have arrived in time and then i also got these it's also from opoly little leather trousers they've got zips at the bottom there they're quite long but i feel like they're perfect size with heels like she looked like this when she was wearing them and i kind of like the look just over the toesies so i love it i'm gonna get my blazer and my aviator on i got the trousers in a six i don't know whether the eight fit would fit better now or not now that i've eaten food but yeah i'm gonna keep them the six because i've already just cut the label off so just about to go and have some breeze thanks so much for watching if you did enjoy obviously don't forget to give it a like and subscribe as well if you're new and yeah let's go have some fun